Welcome to the Glazier Studio Tutorials. This tutorial will cover the commonly used tools inside of our graphics editor. At the bottom of the graphics editor is a tool menu. There is an orbit tool that allows you to rotate the elevation on an axis. This gives you the 3D view and the 3D effects. There is a zoom extents tool that resets the view in the graphics editor. The zoom in tool allows you to click to zoom or to use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. The zoom out tool allows you to also zoom out or use the scroll wheel. The zoom window allows you to draw a box and zoom to that point. The pan allows you to pan left and right, up and down, by left clicking and dragging the elevation. To insert a door in an opening, select the glass light that you want to insert the door into, then click on the door that you'd like to insert from the tool menu. The door design screen will appear. Fill out the information listed based on the type of door you want to insert and then press the OK button to insert that door. The door will insert into the selected panel. You can move horizontals by selecting them and then in the right hand side of the screen set the horizontal location. Select the daylight opening It'll show you to the right the daylight opening width and height, and you can change it to create a daylight. To set a vent, select an opening, select the vent from the left hand menu, select the appropriate vent you want to insert, and then press the apply button. To insert additional horizontals, select the glass lights that you'd like to insert the horizontals into and press the Insert Horizontal button. You can align the horizontals with the head of the door by selecting the door header and then selecting the horizontals you would like to move. By selecting the door header first, the position of the horizontal location will already be set to the appropriate height. To create a new elevation, save your frame and then click the New button in the Frame Information bar. Set the information for this new elevation by typing in the width, the height, making any changes that you'd like to glass or metal systems and then pressing the Add Frame button to continue. If you set the wrong frame size, you can change it by going to the right under the frame information bar and changing the width and the height. If an expansion mullion is needed, the program will warn you and then it will insert the expansion mullion at the appropriate location. Inserting a pair of doors is the exact same process as inserting a single. Select the opening, select the double door icon, and then make your selections for your door style, configuration, hinge type, and then press the OK button to insert the door. Once the doors have been inserted, you can make additional changes such as repositioning horizontals, adding additional horizontals, repositioning them, inserting or setting daylight openings, to divide a light above the door select the opening then insert the vertical If the vertical needs to penetrate the head, you can click on that vertical closest to the head member 
and then select the reverse joinery icon to reverse that joint. Here we will reverse the joinery again so that the head runs through instead of the vertical. Thank you for watching the Glazier Studio tutorials. For more information on our program, you can see some of our other tutorials on this website or contact the DeMichael Group at 480-985-4926 for assistance.